YouTube, how the fuck you doing? Hey guys, Nate Shot today and bringing a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I have some Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered gameplay. Hopefully it's a little bit of a special treat. I know a couple weeks ago, if any of you guys follow Call of Duty at all on YouTube, I'm sure your sub boxes were spammed with Infinite Warfare and Remastered gameplay. So I've been trying to hold on to a couple so that we can spread them out across the next month or two until the game is actually released. So I have a couple guns being used this entire game. We got the P90 with the silencer, uh, the M40A3 sniper rifle, then 16 and a little bit of that secondary deagle action so i think you guys are going to enjoy it uh, but today i want to open up this video as a discussion so a lot of people that are a part of the call of duty community over the years have found my channel and i think it's awesome because i have an opportunity to get a lot of different opinions from a lot of different call of duty players uh, but everybody is really really passionate about this series you either love it or you hate it i feel like there's really no in between there's a lot of passionate fans so what i want to do is offer for you guys a thought and I want to provoke some comments but I want you guys to try and stay as mature and neutral as possible because I really think this could be a good opportunity to see where everybody lies and see if I can't change your guys' thought process in any type of way. You might feel the same as me uh, but everybody has their own opinions and they're entitled to them and I just want to just have a talk with you guys. So essentially this year we have two brand new Call of Duties coming out. That has never happened in the entirety of the series as we've known and love it for like the last decade and some change and I know a lot of you guys have probably played Call of Duty 4 but there's probably a lot of you that haven't uh, and even for me I, I played it for two or three years and I still consider this to be like a new Call of Duty release releasing it's gonna be fun it's gonna be nostalgic and anybody that hasn't played it is you're gonna have an incredible time and then we have Infinite Warfare, the one title that has gotten all of this flack and is probably, I think it ended up being like the most disliked video ever on the internet, which says a lot of things. But I also, I, I think you can't read into that too much because the internet, and like I said, especially Call of Duty fans, we all have sort of a hive mind. If it, it just spreads like a wildfire and everybody got on the hate train. And even even me, when, when the game was initially announced, I was really not a big fan of future tech and I'm still not uh, when, when it comes to the campaign and the way they're basing the game off in multiplayer I'm not a fan of future tech I, I think it was a poor direction for them to take the game and I really wanted to see them go back to boots to ground but even with that even with that all kept in mind, I'm still very optimistic about this game. Let me tell you why. I, I want to say this before any of you guys leave a comment. I want you guys to listen. So every game Infinity Ward has ever made, for the most part, has been really, really, really fun to play. I mean, you have Call of Duty 4, you have Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and Call of Duty Ghosts. All of which, for me, are some of my favorite games in the entire franchise. I gave Call of Duty Ghosts a lot of shit because Infinity Ward has never really been uh, kind to the, the competitive community. They've never tailored their game to the competitive community. And, and uh, that, that I misspoke right there. Call of Duty should never tailor their entire game to competitive and the community itself because it, the majority of people that play this game want to get online, play a few games with their friends, and that's it. They don't really care about uh, the competitive aspect, which I totally understand. We've never been the majority, um, but their support in, in in, in the past have just always been really, really crappy. So I had a lot of choice words for Call of Duty Ghosts, but thinking back on it, I really missed the game. I, I think it was a tremendous game for Search and Destroy. Um, I have a different perspective on it because like I said, the whole competitive thing, since I only really played like three game modes on the entire game, I never really played around with pubs. It was never my thing. So you guys might have a completely different outlook on the game itself, but for me, I know that I regret talking a lot of shit about the game because I miss it. I had a lot of fun on that game. I have a really, like, a lot of memories on that game. And overall, when you look at the resume and the games that Infinity Ward has made, they've all been really, really fun. So that is why I, I want to propose this thought to you guys. I know everybody has had a lot of things to say about Infinite Warfare, and I have too. But I, I, I'm genuinely, like, I mean this from the heart. I'm not getting paid by Call of Duty. I am not getting, uh, there's literally no incentive for me to say this. This is just me as a Call of Duty player. I'm fucking excited about Infinite Warfare. I'm beyond excited about Infinite Warfare. And maybe it's because of the fact that I'm gonna have two different games to play. So even if I get pissed and I get frustrated, with Infinite Warfare at any time, I can go play Call of Duty 4 Remastered. 
And that thought and that idea gets me so stoked. And and I'm not sure about you guys, but I just can't stop thinking about it. In literally a month and a half, we're going to have two games for an entire year to play. And I could not be more excited. And I'm still super optimistic about Infinite Warfare. I, I think the game has gotten a lot of unfair uh, critique. Uh, like I said, the timeline for me uh, doesn't really cut it. I, I'm not a fan of it, but it's still an infinite. Uh, it's still an Infinity War game, and I, I still think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to have that classic Call of Duty feel. And to even speak more on the movement system with the chain sliding and the wall running and the jet packing, everybody that's played the game said it's not as prevalent. Like it's not as intrusive on the gameplay and the core Call of Duty feel that it was with. Uh, advanced warfare and for black ops 3 uh, everybody says like yeah it's in the game but it it's really not a, as uh, overused as it is in past titles so it's probably going to be the closest to boots the ground that we've had in the last three years and that idea and that thought has me really 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 excited um you know it at the end of the day everybody's going to have their own opinions about it I'm, I'm really curious to see what you guys think i would love to know what you guys have to say in the comments Comments, but please try to keep this civil. Let's have a really really good discussion. How do you feel about it after you hear my perspective? I'm sure that some of you guys have thought similarly similarly about it. That's a hard word to say Jesus, but uh, I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, you know, I've seen some some gameplays I've seen some trailers and I'm going into it with an open mind. I know it's going to be the same game engine that I've always loved. I, I know it's going to play similarly to all the other Infinite or the, all the other Infinity War games I've played. And I'm, I'm stoked. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to let this game finish out. Uh, great KD I ended up with. I tried to use different weapons. Thank you guys very much for watching as I whiff some Deagle shots. And I hope you guys uh, kind of contribute with the comments. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day in YouTube. We'll see you folks in later. Goodbye.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 